Good morning. I'm putting the cards away from the evening reading. Very powerful message, so I'm excited to see what we get now. I'm going to use the same cards because we actually didn't shuffle the deck because the cards shuffled themselves in a way. And we're going to ask our questions. Yeah. I heard someone say something is doable. Something is doable. Whatever that means. <laughs> Saying that while I see the golden unicorn, ascension, awaken to your soul's potential. Unicorns might be a sign to something. I actually had, and I'm going to show you guys, and I'm going to find the meaning of it. I had Heidi sending me a picture because she saw something. And she, th she doesn't watch my uh, tarot readings because she... She does not understand English. So she doesn't know that one of the things that I talked about on Monday, in Monday's reading, was dragonflies. And look who she sent me. A red dragonfly. And they are a very powerful sign. So we got our dragonfly sign. You got your dragonfly sign because I just showed you image so let's just see red dragonfly and i know this because that i saw a red dragonfly some weeks ago and i googled the meaning and i was like huh good fortune happiness and good luck and it is known as the summer dragon wow dragon isn't it the year of the dragon actually this year um <laughs> There might be something with weddings because that the red dragon symbol is often seen at weddings or other celebrations in China. So China might be a sign or a celebration might coming be coming up soon or a wedding. And some of you guys might be like, I haven't even met my soulmate yet, Sandra. Who knows? Maybe you will meet them at a wedding. <laughs> or maybe you really are going to... You know, it could doesn't mean that you need to marry this person straight away, but maybe you meet the person you're going to marry, right? Maybe you're together with the person you're going to marry. Ladybug. Luck. I mean, I think something is going to happen today that involves luck. All of your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. So don't stress about it, my love. Some of you guys, you're like, I see no results. No results at all. And the universe is like, if you only knew. Things come into our life at the perfect time. And normally, they actually come into our life the moment we are just relaxing. Minding our own business. But sometimes it takes us a while to get to the point where we are minding our own business. And I actually just, once again, had a ringing in the ear, but I had it in this ear. What is the difference between this and that? <laughs> Future past? Okay, what is the energy of today? Let's not make this one too long either. We have ants, which is interesting because, again, that has also been a theme some time ago. Army of life. Ask for help. Seek support. You are not alone. I think we got this not long ago. Today, there might be something where, again, you might need to ask for help, in a way. The universe is sending you people who are there to help you and guide you and support you. Most of all, support you, okay? Not people who are always on your back and always complaining about this or that. I think some of you guys, you have a lot of people who complain about what you're doing because that you're changing and you're shifting things in your life. And you're just like, listen, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to listen to you anymore. And a lot of people are just like, why have you changed? Why are you wearing this? Why are you wearing that? Why are you speaking like that? <laughs> uh, I have um, a customer that I frequently see. I take pictures of her a lot and because that I mix my language, I always speak English. She does the same and when she come home, she 
continued, you know, speaking like I do. <laughs> and her boyfriend complained about it. And she talked about it with me. I was like, don't let him complain about that. If you want to mix your language up, you do that. But I think a lot of people, if they see changes in you, ooh, okay, the world just popped up. Um, they are afraid because they are like, uh oh, something is changing with them. They might be afraid of losing you, and maybe for good reason, right? Maybe you are like, okay, I don't like you spoke about in, I don't know what reading it was, the full moon reading. I think it was the full moon reading. We are letting go of people where we don't resonate. We don't have the same goals anymore. We are not, you know, focusing on the same path. <laughs> yeah, we're just growing apart from people. And that's okay. Making space for better upgrades. <laughs> okay, we have the world and we have um, the high priestess as the energy of today. There might be a spiritual leader or someone that is spiritual or worldly. <laughs> Or someone online who might help you today. It might be me. <laughs> it might be someone who has Pisces in the chart. There might be something with making a decision about breaking free today. Maybe there's something about social media. If you don't have social media, maybe you're considering going back to it and making it more spiritual in a way. Huh. Or maybe you're making something secret because the high priestess can be secret. Maybe there is something about secrets. <laughs> what is this about today? Well, let's see. You could also be very desired online today with what you post. So today is a good day of posting something if you are on social media. What did we get with the full moon people? Don't hide. It's time to show the real you. Uh, I just saw like a flash. There you go. So it might be time if you don't have social media if you're a little bit afraid of it, social media doesn't have to be TikTok or Instagram. It could be, <laughs> but it could also be Facebook <laughs> or it could be um, YouTube, right? It could be many things. It could be the new is it threat. What is it called? I'm even on that. <laughs> and that's only because of Kiri. <laughs> anyway, what is the challenge of today? Uh, I did hear that, you sh wow, the same position. Some of you guys still having a problem with divine timing and see. Or fame, being seen. You're a little bit afraid of being seen, are you? <laughs> um, well, what I want to say before is that some of you guys might need to ask for help in a way. Yeah. I mean, I am going to obviously show it reverse because it is reverse, right? Why, what are we paying attention to, people? You are my students today. Welcome. Today we are talking about the reversed judgment card. <laughs> we are paying attention to the coffin. So there's something that you are awakening to today, which makes sense with the world. Also, this is before the world, isn't it? Isn't it? Am I totally wrong? I believe so. I believe this is the card before the world, so it makes sense, actually. You're so close to awaken to something, to step into something. Like something is coming to fruition in your life, something is ready. The problem here, the problem here. Now that this is a challenge, because that the reverse judgment card, I love that I can teach you guys a little bit about the different tarots every day. Let me know if you guys like that. But when the justice card is reversed, especially with the challenge, it can make sense. It could be that you are judging a situation for wrong reasons, or you feel like you're being judged for making a wrong decision. It could be being indecisive, not making a decision. Um, and it could be this energy of like, I don't want to be seen, or I'm afraid of being judged for this or that. But it's this energy of like, you don't even know if you're going to be judged. You don't even know if something is going to go wrong. It's like you have already made a scenario up. Um, yeah, it's not going to happen. Because it is positive. There is a positive change. You are supposed to rebirth something, start something over in a way. So you guys might feel trapped in something. Because there is this energy of like breaking free. 
right? Like, I want to get out of the coffin. For God's sake, I've been in this coffin for way too long. It's like someone put baby in the corner. <laughs> someone put you back in a coffin. It's like, this is not where I belong. This was not the deal. <laughs> if you put yourself in the coffin, right? I heard this is not the universe delaying. This is you delaying. Some of you guys need to hear that. And some of you guys are going to be like, it's not me, Sandra. It's not me. You're like the four of cups yesterday. It's not me. Uh, -uh. not me. You're pointing at someone. You're probably not even pointing. You're just like, it's not me. Mm -mm. <laughs> You're a little defensive. <laughs> hmm. I heard something about even when the night falls. I don't know. Even if the night falls, what do you mean? Well, I actually did hear. <laughs> totally ignored that. Even if the night falls, I still think about you. There might be someone who's thinking about you. But it could also be that you, like, even if the night falls, you're thinking about something. Well, if you close the coffin, the night falls, doesn't it? <laughs> Some of you guys might be a little stuck in the past, refusing to see something. I know. I know. I wonder what you guys just said to me. Let me know in a comment if you dare. <laughs> Who did I um, slap in the face out there with that comment? <laughs> well, with that being said, I think we should go to the hope, right? One thing that I did here is something about letting go of the competition energy of something. And with the Knight of Pentacles, it is slow and steady wins the race. It's focusing, once again, wow, it did not want to focus. Focusing on the goal. Well, at least you're getting back up on the horse today. <laughs> I think you're making slow progress today. or as, Well, it's not, I don't want to say it's slow, but it's like you're making a plan or you're like, well, you are not getting back into the coffin. Let's just say that that is the step for today. You are actually listening to the call, listening to spirit. I mean, this is a listen up. <laughs> Can't say that word. Listen up, people. Listen up, my love. Whatever you're trying to manifest is trying to come in. The army of life, like the spirit is sending you people who are supposed to guide you and help you, but you are slapping the hand away. Like, no, <laughs> I want to go back into my coffin, okay? <laughs> I'm going to hit snooze <laughs> for two more days. <laughs> you know, you can only hit snooze for so, so many times before it starts to annoy the heck out of you. <laughs> what is the outcome of today? Healing, because it's reversed. Some of you guys are realizing that you cannot sleep in that coffin anymore. You cannot sleep in the same bed. It's not, it's more metaphorically, myth, myth, well, it's more symbolically. I don't want to sleep in the same bed. I don't want to, well, <laughs> the bed of the enemy. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Something I want to change in your life. You don't want to go back into the coffin. You really do not want to go back into the coffin. And you do have hope back. But I also feel for some of you guys, you might be harder wired in a way, to the point where you're like, Either I do this right, or I don't do it at all. The phone was lighting up with that. Some of you guys are a little bit too hard on yourself. You need to just, again, it's okay. It's okay. At least you made a decision that you're, you don't want to be in the coffin anymore. It's okay. <laughs> Some of you guys, it might, you know, if it doesn't resonate at all, it might be someone else <laughs> who is dealing with this. And I just had like a, I don't know, it was a weird, it was not a ringing in the ear. It was more like a, you know, if someone is like closing off your ear, it was that feeling. Was it a spirit that like <laughs> did that? What is the thing that you are not seeing today? What's happening behind the scenes? Major Arcana. Major Arcana. Major Arcana. I knew we would get a Major Arcana. This came up in the evening reading, Justice. So there will be Justice. If you're dealing with... 
um, a court case or if you there's something you have battled for a long time not it could be this energy of not being understood not being accepted in a way well you will be accepted but I think you guys need to I mean maybe some of you guys are speaking up about something on the wide web Making a post, so you're like, you are not going to hold me back. If I want to be on social media, I'm gonna goddamn be on social media. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I wanna, if I wanna talk with this person, I'm gonna talk with this person. If I wanna go out there and sing, I wanna do it. If I wanna do this, I wanna do that. <laughs> what? Whoa! <laughs> you're making a decision at last, realizing that you've been sleeping in a coffin for too long. And you're like, oh, did I really, why did I do that? Why did I hide myself away for so long? Oh my god, that is a dark place. Maybe some of you guys really have been in a very dark place. And I mean a dark place. Welcome to the life. <laughs> Welcome to your life. Welcome to the life of the living. That's not, how is that life? Welcome to the... The world of the living? I don't know. You've been missed. You've been... <laughs> yeah, you've been missed. I think you're going to realize that people... Even if it's people you haven't met before, I do want to point that out because that we're all going on pathways where new people are being steered in our direction. Remember, you are the upgrade, so you cannot hang out with the old people. <laughs> anymore only if they are on the same level as you but let's just be honest people let's talk over coffee and really discuss <laughs> how much you do not resonate with people from the past anymore huh openly this is a safe space where you and i can sit down have coffee and say yeah i do not resonate with the people from my past Because you have outgrown them, even if it's family, and that is the scariest part. I feel out of you guys, you have a lot of people, especially family, who depend on you, in a way. And you are probably always someone who is there for other people, especially family. But recently, you just found yourself being drained and sad. And I also want you guys to pay attention to if you are empathic. Because you might actually drag around other people's energies. You might be like, why am I so confused? Why am I sad? Why am I angry? Well, is it your mother or fathers or sisters or brothers or daughter or son's energy? Is it a customer? Maybe if it's a, you know, I don't know, if you go to the gym or the, the grocery store or the postal service. <laughs> Or just out in the city, like a bakery, whatever, a park. Like, do you think about closing off your energy for other people? Do you? Because not many of us do. I get told to do that all the time, I have, and I forget it all the time. And then I'm even confused why I have emotional ups and downs all the time. Maybe that's why I felt sick. Because that I did not protect myself when I did the ritual <laughs> with you. And also I realized um, that I probably should have taken a shower before I went to bed because all the smoke, you know, again, smoke and energy and all that is the same. So I was sleeping in that. So I washed the sheets, the everything, took a shower, washed the hair. I mean, listen, this hair shouldn't be washed every day. But I had to do it. Even if I just made pretty curls. I had to. So again... Think about it. Anyway, this this is a long one again. Well, have fun today. Well, you're stepping out of the coffin today, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're doing something online today. I see that. Something is being posted. Something is being created when it comes to social media. It could just be a video, right? Maybe you all are like that I have social media everywhere. I am a big boss, I'm famous, well, maybe you're putting out a statement, something. If you're famous, I want to know who you are. <laughs> maybe if you are a YouTuber, maybe someone famous is actually going to watch videos 
Think about it. You do not know who's watching your videos. I don't know who is watching my videos. Sometimes I think about it and it's scary because I don't know. I don't know who you are. <laughs> I don't know if you're cute. <laughs> Maybe you're my potential husband. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> uh, if you are my future best friend and travel buddy. <laughs> Customer, client, <laughs> right? Who knows? Maybe we are going to meet in the future. I do want to do, um, what do you call that? Meet and greets. Greet and meets. Meet and greets. <laughs> anyway, wow, I just continue on and on today. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys go so that you can um, step out of your coffin because some of you guys, you are, you're just sitting in the coffin. You just woke up with your coffee sitting in your coffin. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Did I just say that right? <laughs> just sitting in your... You're sitting in your coffin drinking your coffee. <laughs> Mercury retrograde, people. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. Now it's all right. Ta 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 ta. Destiny. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me?